Okay, welcome back to the Custom Garage Toolbox Build-Out Series. Uh, we talked about this mess getting cleaned up here and um, started into it, but I thought I'd time-lapse a little bit, show what I'm gonna do, get rid of this pile right here and get some of this stuff over into the cabinet, the new cabinets and the new toolbox. So stay tuned, I'm gonna switch it over to time-lapse, make it go a little quicker and we'll see how it goes. Well, we made it through the time lapse. <clears throat> you can see, do a little panoramic here. Still got this pile right here. And that pile right there, which is gonna be going out into the shed. That's most of the outside fencing material. But we made quite a dent here in the middle of the room, as you can see. And got all my pack outs set up and cleaned up, kind of organized. These tubs here can go back up top. We're gonna to straighten that up, get that up there. I'm gonna push the table saw back, open this back up. I just wanted to give you a view of the toolbox. I haven't pulled the, um, the paper off of the uh, stainless yet. I'm gonna wait till we're completely done. I don't wanna get it scratched up prematurely, but kind of started doing some of the drawers. I'm gonna show them to you. I did these drill cases and I popped the little things off over here so I could put them in a shallower drawer. Now they're kind of a mess. This all got to get sorted yet. But you can kind of see what I did here. Oh, we got an empty drawer. Look at that. <laughs> this one I did blades for now. Saw blades. These will probably come out of here. I'm not quite sure I'm going to leave them there. And this drawer's got drill indexes, some saws. This is a thing for picking up plywood to grab the edge of it. I think this is a triangle square, triangle square to go in the corners. A lot of this stuff is not coordinated exactly where I want it to be for now, but I had to get it off the tables, get it into the toolbox. I, I will comment that these Jorgensen uh, clamps that you can get at, I think I got them at uh, Lowe's. Very good clamps. This drawer, I just packed extra buckets of screws and stuff for now and get them off the floor. And let's see what else we got here. I got a lot of odds and ends here. In here we got our moisture temperature gauge, one of our 360 um, heat temp gauge here, I believe, yep. And this is a 360, um, oh, laser for tile work and different stuff, laying flooring down. This drawer I just started sitting up with some wrenches, probably gonna change it out. This has got paint tarps, stupid, they'll come out of there. I'm not gonna waste a drawer for them. This one I got my big saw blade, uh, scrapers and some stuff that I just picked up. This one I threw the hammers in here for now and this, I got more coming so I'm going to lay out a door for those. So this I'm going to use for some of the electric tools. I got an extra sander in there. I got my Milwaukee saw. Same thing with this one. Got another router. Rota zip. An air shear, electric shear. This drawer here has just got a little bit of everything in it for now. Like I said, I'm gonna be moving this stuff around. Same thing here. I just wanted to get it in some kind of order. It's a lot easier if you stage it first and then you come back and you refine it than to just try to figure out the exact perfect spot to put it in from the beginning. This has just got junk paperwork in it. Okay, this drawer, I didn't do anything with yet. <laughs> um, this drawer, I started laying pliers out in. Might not stay here, but we'll see. It's a pretty big drawer. I can put a lot of players in here. Probably, uh, what I want to call them, um, pipe wrenches and all that other stuff in here too. Just make one drawer of it. This is gonna be the wrench drawer. I'm not nowhere near done. This is probably gonna have to be foamed. And the reason being, cause it's a shallow drawer and that's what this piece of foam's for. I'm gonna lay it all out for this drawer and um, sink them into the foam. That should look pretty good. Now the socket drawer, I just 
set it up dry because I, I got to pick up some more pegs this week, these blue pegs. So the blue will be for the metric and red ones will be for, I think they're red, maybe they're gray, for the American. So I'm going to do metric on this side and American uh, SAE over here. I've got room for more extensions. I've got plenty of room in here. Some of these older chrome sockets or some gear wrench that I had left over. I'm um, still struggling to find them all. A lot of stuff got shuffled in the move. This one, I did this one. Yeah, I think that's it for that. Now, this is kind of interesting here. I don't know if you remember me talking about buying those 20 Ben storage units from um, Harbor Freight the other day. I wasn't quite sure where I was going to put them. So I started setting this up today, and obviously I'm going to get a couple more shelves. I think I'm going to put one right here, and I'm going to put one right here. And this will come out of here. This is just temporary for now. I just had to get the benches cleaned off and get the stuff somewhat organized for now. But this worked out really cool. If you look in here, I just laid them in here. And the way they're in here, I can just take them right out, take them over to what I'm working on, and use them. And then come back and put them away. But as you can see, this one went off the screw stuff. Um, and it's not laid out perfect yet. But this pulls out. So this is really cool. So I can walk over here, see what I need, grab it, pull it out, take it over to the workbench, and use it. I almost want to order another one of these drawers and actually double this. Pretty certain that's what I'm going to do. Because that's not enough. And I've got, I still got some left. And then I'll probably take these ones out of the front and just lay stuff, other something else in here so these will fit in there a little better. That way I'll have all these and what's left in that box to go into a second drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another drawer ordered up. I can hang it right here, it looks like. So there'll be a little bit of space in between. I guess I gotta decide if I wanna give that up. Um, the only other thing I was gonna do is put a shelf right here anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. I think it's more important to have this because this over here does not work. I walk in the door and I hit these and I'm knocking them off. Did manage to get my clock repaired and put back up. That fell off the wall and broke a while back. So I just wanted to give you a little update on the organization. We're not there yet, you know, but it's it's a work in progress. It really is. And you, you just got to, and everybody's different. Nobody would lay this out the same way as me. So whatever I'm showing you is Probably not going to work for 99% of the people out there, but it gives you some insight on what you can do to get yourself organized because the more organized you are, the more fun it is to come out here and do stuff. When you got to come out here and hunt for tools and dig through stuff and can't find your stuff, you get so frustrated by the time you get to find what you need to go do what you want to do, you've lost all incentive to even get it done. So that's what I'm trying to eliminate. Um, I did it for most of my life, and um, <laughs> I'm not going to finish this way. So these snap-on racks, I got a couple smaller ones. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to put another one below it, put the big one at the bottom, small one at the top. I don't know. Got a lot of money tied up in those, and they are very useful. And I have a lot of like uh, stuff for the epoxy that uh, we do um, that I could end up filling them up again. So we're going to see. I'm not locked in yet. That wall's not painted yet. So I can do some patching and hopefully get back to the paintwork here through the winter and get the rest of this finished up. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll be back at you very soon in the near future. Take care now.